Hi, I'm Fallon. I'm so glad you've joined us today. Over the past few weeks, we have been speaking about Jesus, who he is and what he means to us. Today, I'll be sharing with you what Jesus means to me. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, and the truth, and the life. Every day, many people go through life doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, we wake up, we have breakfast, we go to school and work, we come home after a long day of dinner, bath or shower, go to bed, wake up the next morning, doing the same thing over and over again. And a lot of the time, this isn't truly living as... Um, as people go through life without being joyful um, a lot of people would call this being in bondage bondage is a word that describes living life um, not being free you can picture somebody in jail uh, living in bondage because they're not free to live a full life the next video by Dan Huffman shows that Jesus truly doesn't want us to live a life in fear or bondage, but that he came to look after us and to lead us to the best possible life when we follow him. Wow, this fish is great. Who made it? Jesus made it for dinner. That's some of the leftovers. Remind me to ask him for the recipe. I've never tasted fish this good. This bread is out of this world, too. What is it, Ryan? Excuse me, Jesus. Can you tell me another one of your stories, please? Sure, Ryan. But you better stay close to your mom, because this one is a little scary. Once upon a time, there was a cowboy who owned lots of sheep. And these sheep had it made because their owner was a good shepherd. He loved his sheep and would do anything to keep them safe and happy. Sparky, get back here! It's not safe for you to wander away from me. Now you stay in here, Sparky. Excuse me, Jesus. I thought this story was going to be scary, but it's not scary at all. Okay, here comes the scary part. When the good shepherd was away, a sheep rustler came through the town and snuck into the pen. I just want to show you something. That's a good little lamby. Come here. A little closer. I want to show you something. Gotcha. I want to show you the inside of this bag. Sparky? So was that scary enough for you, Ryan? Come here, Ryan, and let me explain the story to you. That way it won't be so scary. I didn't like the mean sheep wrestler, but the wolves were really scary. What did you think of the good shepherd who loved and protected the sheep? He was great. I'm glad he didn't let the wolves eat the sheep. Ryan, I am the good shepherd, and you are all the sheep. I will never let anyone hurt my sheep. 
bandit ran away when the wolves came because he didn't care about the sheep. But I love my sheep, and I will even lay down my life for them. You understand? I think so, Jesus. What should I do? Just follow me, and I will lead you to the best life possible. Excuse me, Jesus. Does this mean I'm going to grow a tail? See, all of us have done wrong in our lives, and this can wear us down, making us feel sad, disappointed, lonely, and so on. And the devil likes to remind us of our mistakes and our weaknesses, and this robs us of our joy in life. But the Bible says Jesus came to give us life, and life in abundance. Now, abundance means a large quantity of something. People can have an abundance of money, which means they have more money than they need. And Jesus came to give us life in abundance. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm gonna use a little analogy to help you understand this a little bit better. Um, have you ever played with a piece of Play-Doh and noticed that if a small piece comes loose from the bigger, piece and that that piece will eventually um, harden up and dry out and eventually it will become so hard that it becomes a little bit useless and not nice to use anymore and possibly you'll throw it away imagine that that little piece is us the devil tries to keep us isolated and like that by telling us lies like you aren't a good person, you're not clever enough, God doesn't love you, but God sent Jesus to cross out all of those lies and to tell you the truth, the truth that we are loved and we are children of God. <clears throat> when we understand and accept that and choose to follow Jesus, it's like we're this dry piece of clay jumping back into the bigger good people. When we live our lives with Jesus, we become good too. Having life and joy and being pleasing to God. God can then use us to do wonderful things in the world and we'll become fishers of men. Meaning we'll be able to tell other people about Jesus and they can have the opportunity to choose abundant life. I'd like to pray for you and with you. Jesus, thank you that you came to give us life and life in abundance. Thank you that you love us so much that you don't want us to live a life that is sad and lonely and dry. Lord, I pray for every single person watching this that they may truly want to know more about you and, and want a relationship with you. Lord, we know the joy of the Lord is our strength. We know that you give us strength and you give us life. Lord, I pray that you'll give us the strength to fight against the lies that the devil constantly tells us. And that you'll show us the truth. You'll help us to memorize, Lord, and to take to heart what the truth that you, that you give us. Lord, thank you for all the joys that we do have in our lives that we don't always recognize. And may we live a life that is continually pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So come and join Pam, Taylor and I for a dance and let's follow Jesus. Down the road we go 
it's really rather odd We can play it safe and slow Or fly through life, oh God oh. I don't know about you And everyone's going that way I just want to be free So I'm gonna walk by faith I'm following Jesus everyone thanks for watching if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe you can also click on the bell icon for notifications give us a like if you like the video leave a comment we'd like to get in touch with you thanks